He was no dragon. Fire cannot kill a dragon. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault, you're watching Animal Logic, and this month we're doing animals from Game of Thrones. House Targaryen Sigil is a blood-red, three-headed dragon on a black background. And while the myth of the dragon can be traced across the globe, the Komodo dragon is the closest thing we've got in terms of name, size, and general badassery. Although they aren't quite like the dragons in popular culture, Komodo dragons are pretty impressive animals. For starters, they are the world's largest living lizard. They look stocky, but they can reach speeds up to 30 kilometers an hour, no problem. Speaking as a large mammal, my first instinct when looking into the eyes of a Komodo dragon, even in zoos, is to run. This must be what other large mammals like water buffalo, deer, or wild boars feel when they stumble upon a Komodo dragon in the wild. They can be up to 3 meters long, weigh up to 136 kilograms, and are covered with bony scales called osteoderms that act like armored plating. They have long, yellow forked tongues that provide their dragon sense. As they retract their tongue into its sheath, a chemical analyzing organ at the top of their mouth is able to detect airborne molecules. If there are more deer particles on the left tongue tip, it knows to look left for its prey. With this sense, they can find carrion from as far away as four kilometers. Another incredible fact about the Komodo dragon is that they're capable of having virgin births. In 2006, zookeepers were stunned when two female dragons in two different zoos gave birth without having any male contact in years. At first, scientists thought that this was explained by the fact that the reptiles can hold on to sperm for several years, but genetic analysis shows only the mother's DNA. That's right. Komodo Jesus. Komodo dragons have legendary appetites and can consume up to 80% of their body weight in one meal. To put that in perspective, if you're a 150 pound person, that would be like eating 120 pounds of meat for dinner. Komodo dragons don't care if their meat is dead carrion, or living. Either way, they'll take it down. They also have the ability to regurgitate all of their stomach contents if they need to make a speedy getaway from an aggressor. The average large mammalian carnivore will often leave about 25 to 30 percent of their kills. Komodos devour almost everything, leaving only about 12 percent. In case the gaping wounds left by those teeth aren't frightening enough, they also inject venom into their prey which decreases the victim's blood pressure enough to send it into shock, leaving it helpless and easy picking for the dragon to finish it off. For many years, we thought that Komodo dragon saliva contained bacteria that killed their prey through blood poisoning. But more recent research has revealed that it's the venom that does the trick. Komodo dragons are endangered animals found only on a few islands, including Komodo in Indonesia. Because they feed on large mammals, habitat loss and poaching has hit them hard, so their populations are dwindling. This may be the reason why there's been several highly publicized attacks of Komodos on humans. As they run out of food, they turn to whatever food source that they can find. In 2007, an eight-year-old boy was attacked by a dragon and by the time people could come to his rescue, he had been bitten in half. A year later, a group of scuba divers were stranded on the shore of Rinka Island, home to over 1,300 Komodo dragons. They had to fight off dragon attacks for two days and nights with rocks and their weighted dive belts before they were rescued. How is this not a movie? It's like Captain Phillips, except with giant, vicious varanids. There's even been a celebrity victim. For her husband's birthday, Sharon Stone gained access to the Komodo pen at the Los Angeles Zoo, so he could pet one. Which sounds like a great idea. The dragon lunged at him and bit off the top part of his left foot before he could flee the cage. So what animals should I check out next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every week. Thanks for watching.